Well, hello, and welcome to another one of my videos. Today, my friends, my darlings, my sweethearts, we're going to be a creating a house for the beautiful, the iconic, the stunning Juno Birch. The love I have for this woman is incredible. I love what she does for the Sims community. I love her humor. She did not ask me to do this. I just really, really got inspired from her art, her art, her humor. And I was like, you need a house in The Sims 4. Now I know you don't like The Sims 4 as much as Sims 2 and Sims 3, but I thought I would try my hardest to make a house fit for Juno, the queen. I think we're going to be having a lot of joy desperates in this household as well. We're definitely going to go for a style as similar as we can to Edward Scissorhands because I love those mid-century vibes that those houses threw off. This place is definitely calling for a basement where we can hold all of the Joy Desperates. It's only right. It's only right in this world. It really is. But without further ado, let's get back into game and let's start building. Well, here we are, my loves. We are in Oasis Springs. Juno and the Joy Desperates have just crash landed onto their new home or soon to be new home. We will start, we will start making it in just a second. She's looking very iconic, very amazing. I'm very much for it. If you want me to link the creator to this, I will pop them up on the screen now. So if you want to go and download Juno and the Doi Doi the Doi Jesperits, the Doi Jesperits, we're gonna go with that. The Doi Jesperits, then you can just go up on the gallery and give this creator some love because I just think these are iconic. So we are gonna be making a house fit for an absolute queen. She has crash landed with all of the Joy Desperates. So we need a place for all of these guys to actually live so we've got to make a basement at, at some point as well it's just got to be done just got to be done so i've chosen a palette a gorgeous palette of colors that i think will work very nicely in a house fit for juno birch i just think we're gonna have to try and mix these up i'm gonna make the exterior pink i think to get inspired from that edward scissorhands moment that we had just a minute ago so i think i'm gonna go for that lots of flamingos bright colors everywhere we're going to go for a 50s, 60s, 70s vibe with the interior. Maybe mix it up a bit in each room. I'm unsure. One bedroom fit for Juno and then a basement to keep all the joy desperates. And maybe a little, maybe room where we can kill them off quite easily. Let's get started, shall we? I think what I'm going to do is go for a bit more of a modern vibe with this house. Um, still keeping those kitschy colours that we saw in Edward Scissorhands and stuff. But I'm thinking a little bit more modern mid-century my love so that is what we're going to do we are you watch so what i'm going to do is pop a little like i want like a brick moment there maybe not so much this one anymore now that i'm going for a mid-century looking vibe i'm thinking this one this one fits well in with mid-century especially when you put it against a pink oh oh juno's gonna love that she really will so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that there. Then there's going to be like a little carport moment here. I think it would look iconic and we're all going to be here for it, aren't we? The answer to that, my loves, is yes. Yes, we are. Anyway, moving on. So entrance in here. <clears throat> Sorry, clear my throat. Entrance in this way. We're going to come in from the side. Tell me, Sheila, how did Jesus come to you? Did he come from above? Did he come from the side? I know he didn't come from below because he would have been lost for weeks. <laughs> Abfab, iconic, one of the best sitcoms to ever exist. And you can fight me if you don't believe. Anyway, I think we're going to walk straight into, like, do I want to do the living room straight there? I kind of do. I kind of want the living room, like, quite big as well. Um, I think we're going to do it to about there. Oh, yes. And then I'm going to do the kitchen at the top here, but higher up on a platform, I think. Dining room moment, maybe like around here. Passageway there, because we're going to need to branch off into a, like Juno's bedroom and down into the basement where we will be keeping all of the door, the doorway Jesperits hostage. Little bathroom moment there. So I put the bedroom back here instead. So we've got this nice connecting like hall now. What I may do actually, now that we've got this in, is open it up there too. So you just walk straight into the living area. The kitchen, the dining room's going to be there. This is all going to be open as well. I'm going to raise those up on platforms. Maybe this one a bit higher than that one and whatnot. We're going to do, it's going to be stunning. You just got to trust me. You got to trust the vision. You really do. Anyway, bathroom. A little entrance here. So you can just walk straight into the house this way as well from the car. Juno's bedroom and then we're going to have this stunning backyard and I think what I'm going to do is do access down into the joy desperate or the door desperate basement 
down through the garden entrance. I think that would be stunning, iconic, and we're all going to be here for it. And we're absolutely going to be loving it. It's going to be stunning. Now, elongated roof line. We need to get that apparent. Yes, that's the vibe I went for. So what I did is I used a cheeky little one tile roof on this little bit here. And then I extended the shape of the flaps out right across. So we get that nice vibe coming through. Oh, it reminds me of Juno's like sunglasses as well. So I'm very much for that. Anyway, moving on. So I'm going to put this all the way along on that bit, I think. All the way to there. We'll do the same on that roof line there. Stunning. Okay, so I finally got a shape that I'm very much happy with now. I like this profile. I've mirrored that at the back with this little bit going on. I've extended out this little bit here just to wrap around. I think that looks very pleasant. What else have we done? I've raised up a little bit of a half wall there so it met the roof line and around the back as well. The only thing that's annoying me is this little cross thing, but we're going to look past that. Yes, we are. I can't do anything about that. And that little glitching bit there going on there. I'm not a fan of that. Either. It's very annoying. Very annoying indeed. So I think we should start picking some windows and see what windows we can get on this place too. The windows have been chosen. I've gone for a mix of modern and that's it. <laughs> Just modern. Just modern. And I've picked the wallpapers and the flooring and the layout of the inside. So this is going to be, we're going for Sims 2 vibes here. This is going to be the living area. We're going to lose, use lots of mid-century furniture. Stunning. We're going to do a bit of a, like a 1950s-esque kitchen, I think, which is going to be housed around here. Beautiful. And then this bit here is going to be a nice dining area. We've used some nice 1970s panelling and bricks. And then you come through this way. This is going to be Juno's bedroom. It is acid bright. It's got lots of green. We're going to be using this bed too because the queen of aliens should always have her own pod as far as I'm concerned. And then this bathroom bit back here, which I've raised up on a platform. We're going to go for gorgeous mid-century pink and grey vibes. But before we make a start on the interior, I think what we need to do is make the exterior look a little bit more pretty. So let's get decorating that. Let's start with a lovely lawn in the front, I think. I think we'll do a lovely manicured lawn right in the front there. Gorgeous. Lovely. Gorgeous. And I think what we'll do is marry in the pavement slabs in front there and for the driveway there. So I went ahead and I made a start on the front lawn area. So we've got a little crashed UFO moment here in the carport area, exploding all of this alien goodness all over. We have got this little soil planter moment with lots of these lovely little landscaping pieces. And this lovely little row of flamingos going down to the tiniest one that you ever did see in your life. And I'm absolutely 100% hysterically there for that one. I mean... And the same here as well. We did a nice little plant moment in the front of the house here too, using lots of cactus, big leafy greens. And I did, in fact, build this myself from scratch. So I think what we'll do now is move on to the backyard. I've made a start. We're going to do this together. So what I'm thinking is, oh, where's my cow plants gone? I'm thinking little cow plant moment here. I think we'll probably be able to get three or four in there. We're going to do a little Joy Desperate graveyard here just for the fact that I'm sure many of the Joy Desperates that do live in this house will meet their demise at some point and I just think it's only right to be able to get one in. So we've got a cow plant and I do think we'll be able to get about four in here which is a lovely number of cow plants. Okay so I think we'll put the Joy Desperate graveyard around about here. We'll leave a two wide gap there so they can easily walk through to either side. We've got some tombstones out. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in some lovely little grave guarders. I don't know what these are called but we're going to go for grave guarders today and I'll put them all around the tombstones just to stop any zombie Joy Desperate. It's not that the Sims 4 could never because we don't have zombie thing. I'm quite glad of that actually because they used to freak me out when I was little. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Some little bit of soil just under them as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I think we'll keep this all sand as well just to blend in with the landscape around it and that will be absolutely stunning. A couple of reefs, a pot of disgusting flowers and a dog poop on that one. A bit of shading underneath of the cow plants. A few trees in the back few bushes as well just to get this garden a little bit more private we'll put a rocket ship down as well just so juno has got means of escape a lovely pool area too we'll do some pink tiles around here some stepping stones yes that's happening a diving board for the pool along with a pool ladder as well gorgeous some gorgeous yellow sun loungers we use the boob parasol 
some window boxes, a mother plant and a llama, a barbecue. Okay, the start of the Joy Desperate Torture Chamber. I mean, basement. I've done a bit of work on the basement so we can freely move on to the interiors right now. But what I've done is created just a small basement just so the Joy Desperates can have a nice time. It's kind of a little mini maze where they will have to step on dog poo all the way through until they get to this rather large sewage canal where they will have to swim all the way through all the way through all the way through all the way through until they finally get to these and what i've done is created a little jail cell for each of the joy desperate so they can get locked in here until they meet their demise and just to bring things home i have in fact put a cheeky poo in every single one of their rooms as well so with that being said, we've made a we've made a nice start. Everything's coming together lovely. I think what we'll do now is make a start on the living room areas. We will change the lights in a minute. I'm not feeling those spotlights. But for now, I'm going to look and try and pull out some really good furniture. I'm thinking this gorgeous sofa. So it will match in nicely with the orange theme that we've got going on in here. Now, do remember we are going for a very, very kitschy Sims 2 vibe. So I want that to come through. Oh, gorgeous. Now, we'll just drag a little bit of that pink over, I think, just with this one. And I'm going to pop you at a jaunty angle there. And I'm also going to use this TV that came with Eco Lifestyle, but I am going to size it up and maybe change the colour to a little bit brighter. We use the curtains from Eco Lifestyle as well. This table from the bowling pack. Gorgeous. This plant in a gorgeous purple just by the TV there. Oh, gorgeous. This bookcase from university in a very fluorescent orange just behind the sofa there. This record player, we'll pop it in this little in cove here. A mid-century clock about there. A side table and a lovely alien crystal on top of it. A lamp plus some new ceiling lights as well. I think they would look glorious in this room. Oh, I'm very much for that. Very much for that indeed. So, onto the kitchen. Okay, so we're going to go for a bluey, spearminty green and pink tone for this kitchen, I think. So, you there. You, my love, can go there. And around to here as well. I think we'll just put a normal one in that side. And in fact, I'm going to do a corner piece because I do want to put a fridge in this little in-cove. Oh, we'll go for this teal gorgeous one here as well. But it's more of like a baby blue, tealish colour. I'm going to put that one in there. Oh, absolutely for that. So I'm going to keep carrying on with these cabinet trays all the way around. So I'm going to use another corner piece on this bit here. And then I'm going to do you there. And I'm going to do a washer and a dryer. And then I can put the bin on the end, I think. Oh, stunning. Yep, I'm for it. Okay, keeping with the colour theme, we've gone for the teal air washer and dryer as well. So let's get some cabinet tray up on the walls. And then we'll make a start on somewhere else. So I used the teal washer and dryer, put the cupboards up on the walls as well. It's all looking rather beautiful, I must admit. And I've done a little island here because I'm thinking, let's put some bar stools around here as well. Why not, you know? We may as well. We may as well. I think that looks glorious. And the colour, that just brings in a pop of orange into the kitchen as well. Stops it from looking too contrasted. <laughs> oh yes, let's bring a bit of orange in with the sink as well. Oh, that's very glorious. I think that's a very lovely kitchen. Do need a light. And we've gone for the same lights that we used in the front room. Just again to bring a pop of orange over there. Put some blinds up and a few little decorative pieces. Including a nice alien plant in the middle of the kitchen island. <sighs> kitchen is done. Stunning. Let's move on to the dining. I think we'll go for that orange glass one from the fitness pack. And I'm going to use these mid-century blue chairs on the sides of them as well. Oh goodness me. That is stunning. And I've put a nice blind up and also I've used two of these little dresser things from Tiny Living. I just think the colours match in well. I'm for it. I think the only thing it needs up here is a plant. And I may use that same plant again, but I'm going to choose a different colour, I think. Oh, we've gone for that one. Slightly different colour, but I like it. I think it suits it. It's quite of a blue-green, so I'm kind of here for it. And then obviously it's got the iconic pink on it too. Oh, that's a lovely dining area. Very much for that. So I think what we'll do is move on to Juno's bedroom, my loves. So what I did was put the same kind of lights as that we used out there, but a little bit of a different colour. Definitely want to stick with using the uh, alien sleeping capsule because it's only fitting in this room. 
What I would like to get in here is defi a definite dresser because as we all know, Juno is absolutely iconic at makeup. Makeup. So I'm going to put, maybe use that one. That colour fits in here quite nicely and I don't think there's any other brightish one we can use. So yes, I'm going to use that and I may even pull one of these chairs in from here and maybe use a orange chair. Just a really bright. Oh, I love that. That's a good look. Yes, I'm for it. Absolutely for it. Loving the carpet in here as well. Stunning. Do you know what this place does need though? A flamingo. So I will be getting a flamingo in here. I think it's only fitting for this room. And then maybe this flamingo whispers to Juno in her ear when she's doing her makeup. Your makeup looks glorious. <laughs> can you? Can you? Imagine? Why can I imagine a flamingo doing that? I'm absolutely for that storyline. I really am. <laughs> So I'm going to do it. And I think I might extend the bedroom out one. I mean, we can. Will it make the room look weird, though? I probably will have to extend this out one. But I'll do that. Can I do that? Oh! Oh, God, you've gone outside, darling. We don't want that. Oh, I'm kind of there for that, loves. Oh, I will put a trim on that, though, because that looks very, very odd. And we don't want that. We are looking for odd for this place because odd is beautiful. But, oh, I like that. I like that little white trim. Yes, I'm for it. We'll carry on. Just so I've got a bit more room here now. Lovely, because I do want to get a dresser in here. It's only right. And I said I was going to use a mid-century dresser. So I'm definitely going to be using a mid-century dresser. And the mid-century dresser in question is this one. In this colour as well. Stunning. Oh, for it. Definitely. Not enough room, though, for... What I would imagine would be quite a hefty wardrobe, considering the iconic clothing that Juno does wear. So I need to make sure we've got enough room for maybe a little bit more of a bigger wardrobe. Hmm, we really haven't. So maybe I could just do two of these. I'm going to do two of these. Two of these. And stunning. Oh, I'm going to have to turn you and orientate you differently now. You can go there and I'm going to move you to there gorgeous because we need a full length mirror anyway it's only right in here so I will be doing a full length mirror in the middle and I'm going to do that Hollywood one and I will put two flamingos either side of this as well so they can also whisper to Juno when she's getting ready you look lovely we've got whispering flamingos absolutely stunning I'm 100% here for it ignore the ceiling as well I've got a mod in at the minute we'll get rid of that a makeup tray down there some iconic artwork all over the, the walls. A beautiful alien tendril that Juno made from scratch. And to finish the look, I'm going to put in some of these curtains. Maybe on the door as well. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, yes. Juno would like this room. She would like to live in this room. Very, very nice indeed. And I also did the bathroom off of camera as well. So we've gone for the same sort of colours as what we use throughout the house absolutely gorgeous i will change this light out for a bit more of a, oh we'll keep that one in actually and then i'll put the spot like i have with all of them i'll put the spotlight over it too in that color because it's got orange and that color on it oh iconic i'm absolutely for it oh well i will say i think we're very much done here we're very much done here so i'll do a little quick pan through and then what i'm going to do is test out the joy desperate dungeon so we come in through the front door into this iconic living room. All of those gorgeous 60s and 70s colours. Up into the kitchen area. Absolutely beautiful. Around the corner. Into a nice dining room as well. The ceilings are missing there weirdly for some reason. I've Oh no, that's the roof line. Oh great. So the roof is poking into the house. That's always nice. Thank you so much for that. And then into the bedroom as well. Gorgeous. I can imagine. Juno is going to be absolutely loving a life in that bed. She really is. And I'm going to come around here and then we've got a lovely bathroom as well. Fit for an absolute queen. So there's nothing left to do, my loves. Let's go and have a little look at these guys in gameplay. Okay, so all the Joy Desperates are making their way into the household. So is Juno. Juno is confident she is going to go into her epic bedroom, get in her bed and have a little think about her life. Oh, she looks good in this room, I must say. Get in there. Oh, if you your sleep attire, Juno. <laughs> Absolutely here for your sleep attire. Anyway, we've got things to look at. So, the Joy Desperates are going to walk through here. Standing poo. Oh, no, this is going to take so long. Let's speed it up. <laughs> so, the Joy Desperates are standing in every single shit through the maze. 
which I am absolutely here for. They are going to be so fuming. <laughs> what? <laughs> How are you standing on the water? Are you standing on the water? <laughs> Keep swimming. Go swim. Oh, I know what it is. I think it's because I've put poo in the water underneath. <laughs> so, they're, so they're standing. They're walking on water. Are they Jesus? Are you Jesus? I just had to move my camera because I was weirdly floating on the screen and then I'm not for it. So here they go. <laughs> they are swimming through the sewers. Oh, I bet they're going to be stinking. At least they're going to be washing the poo off of their um, feet. So the rest of them are coming through now. They are making their way through the sewers. They are into the dungeon areas. They need to get back into their little cages. I'm going to lock the door behind every single one of them. Okay, so there we have it. The Junal Birch and Joy Desperate household. Obviously, this is where the Joy Desperates are. They're all locked inside their cages, along with those cheeky poos that I did leave for them too. And I think someone is very, very happy about that. And that someone is the iconic, the Queen, Juno Birch. I hope you enjoyed this, everybody. And do you know if you do see this, this was for you. This was for you. This is for you for inspiring me and making me laugh every single time I watch one of your videos. I'm a huge, huge fan. And I thought I would just pay some respect with that with a cheeky house just for you to be able to do whatever you like with if you joy desperates. So there we have it, my loves. Thank you so much for coming today. I had so much fun making this video. I really did. I definitely want to start doing just some more funny builds where we can have a little bit of a laugh and whatnot. I really, really enjoyed it today. So let me know down in the comments what you think. I'd be very much interested to hear what you guys have got to say. I'll be back on Monday. I'm unsure as to what we're going to be doing on Monday, but I will be back on Monday. I hope you all have an amazing weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye.